All right, it's new frog time. That's right. New, 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 new. Okay. Time for new. Uh, what do we got going on this week? First up, we've got the star, which is Ada Box 13. We have a couple boxes left over from the thousands that we shipped out. And this has everything you need to get started with your monster mask for Halloween. So this is a perfect time to pick one up because you got a month to get ready for your costume masks. You get some lenses, the lens holder, the cable to connect the two eyes together. You get, of course, the mask. And you get some crafting supplies and some cool masks. We've got Phil's favorite, the silver mask with the T2000. We've also got uh, my mask that I like, which is like a paper craft mask. Battery, some glitter pens, uh, microphones, so you can do the voice changer project, uh, battery pack, and some elastic and triglides. So yep. great Flexible for cart and more. That is everything you need. Ada box 13. Uh, this Take will be the best way to get it because we'll probably not have monster masks um, in stock a bunch because they're popular. So they this popular. is a good way to get them. And don't forget to sign up for Ada box 14. Should be yep. in a couple months. Next up. Next up, it's Teeny. It's Pico. It's the Teeny Pico. It's an ESP32 board that's so small. Um, it's got ESP32, it's got a USB serial converter and a USB micro B port. Uh, it's got some stuff on the bottom, I think some uh, flash chip. You can run off a battery, it's got a dot star. It's just like the smallest, littlest, cutest yep. ESP32 board um, from uh, Unexpected Maker. And it's got this cool uh, high range 3D antenna and it's got a 3D printed piece that snaps in to protect the antenna because it's a little delicate. So do be careful when you plug this into a breadboard. Don't use that metal thing as a grip. It's not a grip. It's an antenna. And it will, uh, if you're rough with it, it will snap off. Okay. And last up. Last up, we got a new stem board. We wanted to put a temperature sensor in. So I actually looked up, like, what's the lowest cost I squared C temperature sensor that has some goodies in it? PCT 2075. It's uh, simple but sweet. It's compatible with like the standard LM75, but has more address pins, and uh, it has uh, interrupts as well. Uh, and here it is hooked up. I have a feather board. Um, this is like a feather M4 or something. And then I'm using the handy uh, Stemma Quick cable. So you plug it right in and you can chain uh, boards across. This is uh, I squared C, so it's really easy to connect more devices on this bus. This is a default address of 37, but you've got three pins that can be high, float, or low. So you have like almost like 30 different address options you can pick from. Um, so you'll definitely be able to fit this on your I squared C bus, multiple ones, even if you want, up to like 27 or so. And um, you got the sensor over here, and then I just have it printing out the temperature over uh, this OLED. So a simple, low cost, but pretty good one degree Celsius precision temperature sensor. Okay, and with that, new products. Yay, new products. <laughs>